at six o'clock in the morning. I want to be the, one of the first to welcome you to Winter Nam 2018. My name is James Sajiva. I am director of music technology brands for Korg USA. I'm grateful to have you all here. And of course, welcome to the all new Korg USA booth. Uh, not just a great way to showcase our brands, but also showing our commitment to the Nam show and the importance of that show and how it connects everybody here in this room, in this building, and around the world. We have a lot of great stuff to show you today. I'm really excited to start getting to show it to you. Uh, actually, some of it you've already seen and heard. Uh, Dave was playing our grand stage, which was recently released, and the KR55 Pro. And the KR55 Pro is a very unique drum machine, uh, not just a drum machine, of course. It is a full functioning mixer, can accommodate up to four players, and what you heard were real live recorded drummers. 
in the box. So not MIDI, something entirely new, something entirely real, and uh, just a great sounding drum machine. We also, uh, we also heard the Kinect. So all that music you were hearing was coming through here. And the Kinect is our new portable PA system. It's an amazing little box. It's stereo, true stereo, uh, 150 watts. Can be controlled completely by Bluetooth. Has a nice four channel mixer on the back as well. So another great product for multiple artists going out on a gig, doing a DJ gig, anything that you so choose. We've also announced Gadget for Switch. So we've taken our very popular DAW platform, which was originally uh, released on iOS, and then ported to OS X, now on Nintendo. I think it's... <laughs> And I do invite you to actually check this and all these products out after the uh, press event. We do have them all out on the booth. Uh, we do have the Switch out on the booth. And uh, that's very, very cool. And then, uh, of course, the new of Odyssey. Uh, you remember last NAM, we uh, showed a full-sized Odyssey in all three different versions. Uh, it was assembled in New York. This is also a full-sized ARP Odyssey. Uh, it's another limited release. And it comes with an ARP-branded SQ-1. And that also comes in all three versions, the white, the black gold, and the black orange. Uh, and it will be uh, very, very limited. So if you're interested in a full-sized Odyssey, I suggest you pick one up. <laughs> uh, we also announced the D1 digital piano slab controller. Very unique, sleek piano. Uh, it's designed to be both a great portable stage piano, but also for anyone looking for a controller that um, you want slimline for the studio. It suits the needs. It's got our LP380 engine built into it. It's Korg's best hammer action, RH3, and it comes with a pedal. And it also attaches to our SV1 stand. So it's got a lot of different uses, flexibility, portability, great sound. And, of course, we announced Sequenz not too long ago. Sequenz are the stands that you may have recognized from products like the Grand Stage and the Vox Continental. That company has now taken off with its own brand, and we're bringing that here today as well as part of our growing family of brands at Korg USA. All the stands that you're seeing up here are sequence stands. Uh, we have the small, the medium, and the large, and um, definitely very excited about that. Great stands, bringing back that classic A-frame look with a lot more adjustability, um, the ability to add extra arms to put other stuff on the top tiers. So also another great thing. It's also a very important year for Korg overall. Uh, the, Korg, the company's been around for obviously a very long time. We're celebrating several milestones this year. Uh, first of all, 50 years ago, we came out with the Prototype 1, which was not just Korg's first synthesizer, but actually the first Japanese-made synthesizer. So we celebrate that in 2018. Another anniversary we're celebrating this year is the birth of the M1 and the birth of the workstation, okay? And we've seen a lot of iterations since then, moving up through the line, through the O1s, and I'm gonna miss some, and the T3s, and the Trinity, and the Triton, and of course, now we've got the Kronos. So, another anniversary we're celebrating this year, also a very important one, it's been five years since we released our first set of Volcas. Volca series, incredibly popular, Tens of thousands of users around the world, uh, they collect them, nobody buys just one. Uh, they like to integrate them, and uh, as part of that, we're gonna be showing you uh, a little bit of that as well. Because at this show, we are debuting the eighth installment of Volca, and it's the Volca Mixer. The Volca Mixer is a Volca formatted product uh, with four channels total. It's got isolation, expander, compression, and it powers up to three Volcas. Comes with everything that you need to do that in the box. Okay, so all the cabling you need to audio sync it and to power it, comes with an adapter, basically creates a perfect environment for Volca performance. And to help demonstrate that, I would like to introduce you to another one of our artists for this event, Knobs. So please go. Let's do it.
to mention that all of these products and all of their configurations are available out on the new displays right outside the room here. Uh, if you guys are interested in any custom video, we have an army of product specialists all well trained on all of this product that can answer your questions, uh, can get you some video, and, and so on and so forth. I'd like to bring up a couple of people, um, very important people to Quark. And, uh, it's basically our analog team. Okay? Analog is a very, very important category for us, and we have some of the top talent making these products. Um, I'd first like to introduce you to uh, a gentleman who has been working for Korg for quite a while. He was part of the Minilog and the Monolog projects, okay? one of the engineers, and his name is Yoshihito Yamada. Yoshihito. Our next engineer's name I'm going to butcher because it's not in my notes, so <laughs> I apologize. Um, but we have another gentleman who has just joined Korg uh, a little while ago. He was also part of the Prologue project along with Yoshi, Yoshi for short, is that okay? Thank you. And um, he hails from Canada, uh, speaks perfect Japanese, and these two are really the dynamic duo behind all of our analog products including the Vulcan Mixer and of course the prologue, which you are about to see. And I'd like to introduce Etienne. Etienne, thank you very much. Etienne, please give your full name, since I have a hard time with it. Etienne Novo Hébert. And that's why. <laughs> thank you very much. So Analog for All uh, is a tagline that we've been using. It's very important to us, because what we want to do is we want to bring products to market that are for everyone. Um, we started with the mini log, which is not just a keyboard or it's a keyboard. It is just a perfect form factor for anybody who's interested in getting started in analog synthesis. Um, the, the slimline keys, the interface, the all new signal path. It's, it's not a recreation, it's a completely new synth synthesizer. Did the same thing with monolog in the mono format. And now here we are with the prologue. So I'm going to turn it over to these guys and I'm going to let them do a little bit of a demonstration for you. And if you'd like, we'll have a Q&A right after this, so please hold your questions, and thank you very much. Guys, take it away. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm current head of Analog Synthesizer team, and I worked on Minlog and Monolog uh, with Mr. Takahashi did years, and uh, as James said, uh, I designed all hardware for Prolog. Yeah, I joined, uh, oh, my name again, Etienne Nobuebert. Uh, I joined Korg just over a year ago, and uh, so I worked on the Prolog, and I'm a software engineer, so I worked on the OS side of things, and on all the digital signal processing that's involved in the Prolog. Uh, firstly, uh, let me introduce Prolog. Uh, Prolog is not your typical monster sheet. Uh, Prolog is an in inherits of for the ease of use and the speed of our members of log cities. Uh, however, we refined and redesigned uh, all circuitry, so you'll find the sound has evolved. Uh, let me play some analog sound.
So beyond the amazing uh, analog circuitry and complete redesign, uh, we decided to push things further and add uh, a digital engine next to each of the voices. Uh, we call that engine multi-engine because it's quite flexible. Uh, it has a variety of noise colors, has a VPM oscillator, which is a variable phase modulation oscillator, which gives a very uh, lots rich, rich harmonics and a very crisp digital aspect that's uh, that some, some sounds that you wouldn't do with normal VCOs. And uh, also a user section, which is loaded with a wavetable oscillator. Um, and so that brings like a very distinct digital, digital sound into the analog world of the Prolog, and it's, it blends surprisingly well together. And on the effects section, uh, we gave it quite the luxury treatment. We have really high quality effects, lots of modulation effects, and uh, lots of reverbs and delays to choose from. Uh, yeah, I'll just give you a quick. in there. Um, additionally to that, uh, there's also, um, we opened the platform. Uh, so there's an SDK which is aimed at developers. Uh, so we're thinking obvious programmers, uh, professionals, and possibly third-party companies with which we collaborate uh, to make actually original content, new oscillators and new effects that users would be able to load into their prolog. Um, so yeah, there would be more detail release about that further. Uh, but yeah, now Yamada-san will demonstrate you the total sound, not just the analog part, but all the digital parts together with the analog, and you'll see it blends really well together. <laughs>
Thank you for listening. <laughs> that was and, amazing. Um, before we move on, just a word on the state of things at Kohl. Um, Mr. Takahashi's legacy at Kohl is more than all his inspiring instrument he created, um, but also the reverse of our dedicated analog synthesizer team infused by his idea of democratization of analog and uh, direct intuitive interfaces and carefully selected limitations that breed creativity. And this team can count on the arcane knowledge of veteran engineers as well as the modern approach brought by younger generation of engineers from enthusiasts for synthesizers. So I'm excited and uh, confident about our future, and uh, there will be many more inspiring synthesizers will come. Thank you very much.